What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at Catwoman from the Batman TV series by McFarlane. Alright, so here we are, and like always, we start off with the packaging. Now, what I should have mentioned before in the intro is that this is based off of the 1966 TV series, Batman. So, as you can see, a nice open window here on the side, so you can see the figure. You got the two accessories to the side, Batman the TV show, and I was able to grab this one on clearance. It's supposed to be about 18 bucks. I got it for about 9 It says DC McFarlane 12+. Plus. On the back, we got a nice picture of the figure. We got the Batman and Robin in the Batmobile. McFarlane, Batman TV series. Or classic TV series, I should say. But that's it for the packaging, guys. Alright, so I decided to combine the accessories with the first look. Because, honestly, she only came with two accessories. Which was those things that clip on to her, like, wrists. And it says, like, Eow and... IE, I believe that's how you say those. It's like karate sounds, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's all it came with. Not even a, a stand for her, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, so here's the first 360 look. I mean, all black outfit, gold belt. You know, she's got the gold necklace around her neck. And that's it. So let's bring her in closer so we can get a better look at her. So there is the face sculpt. With the mask, the the black uh, suit has like um, almost like a little like uh, star, like like um, glitter marks on it or whatever. I guess that's the best way to say it. it kind of looks like a like a nighttime outfit, as opposed to just being a plain black. So that's kind of a nice touch. Got the long black hair. She's got her hands open. Okay, so the articulation. Her head turns, turns. Not really much for up and down, and nothing for side to side. Her arms come up for the T-pose. They come back down. Then let me see, no bicep swivel. She only has a single elbow joint. Let me see, does the wrist turn at least? Yeah, the wrist does turn, so... You can rotate the wrist or the hand, so that's good. She turns. She can twist. She does not bend like she doesn't have an ab rocker, but her legs do come up. And they go back. I think it can go back more than that. Let's see. Yeah, it does. It does. A little stiff, but it does. Then let me see. No thigh swivel. Single joint for the knee. There we go. Can you guys see that? So single joint for the knee. And then we see the foot doesn't twist. It doesn't flip up and down. Nothing. So not much for articulation either. Um, sorry, I'm not going to waste anybody's time. I'm going to jump right into my final thoughts on this figure. Um, you know, I picked it up for, like I said, eight. I think it was like five and change. And at that price, that's that's fine. You know, I'm, 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 I'm good with it. At the $18 to $20 price point, I would have been a little disappointed. Because, I mean... Kind of a stiff figure as far as like articulation goes, like not much for no double jointed knees or elbows or anything like that. Uh, no thigh swivel, no bicep swivel, you know, the, um, you know, no accessories. You only get the two like sound things, the noises or whatever those things are called. So I, I don't know. I mean, this is obviously for fans of the old TV series. Clearly, I mean, uh, you know, this isn't just for someone who's a Catwoman fan. This would have to be someone who's a fan of that old show. And I like McFarlane's work. It's just for a figure like this, I think that that type of price point, that $18 to $20, is a little high. Especially when you compare it to his other, you know, $20 McFarlane, like Batman figures and stuff like that. It comes with more. It usually comes with uh, double joints. It comes with, you know, uh, a stand. It comes with... You know, whatever, uh, bicep swivels, just more stuff to it. So I think, you know, I don't know. I, I kind of don't know how I feel about this. Um, I believe Real Batman did a review on this figure. So if you guys want to hear more about it, go check out his video. I'm pretty sure he did one on, on this figure. And he probably could, uh, you know, have more to say about it than I could. 
But I don't know. I, I mean, I like it, but I also like it because I only paid like six bucks for it. So I think that's kind of unfair. But anyway, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. You know, and if you guys could, please do all that good YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe and everything. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later, guys.